Welcome to Lesson 7A, your first ASP.NET Web Forms web application. In this lesson, you learn how to develop your first web application using the ASP.NET Web Forms framework. To create the sample ASP.NET Web Forms application, after you have selected New Project, select the ASP.NET Web Application template and click the OK button. After you have created the sample application, you can examine the Solution Explorer window to see all of the files and folders that have been created. Each web form is actually comprised of three separate files. The ASPX file contains the HTML for the web form, the ASPX.CS file and the ASPX.Designer.CS file are both files that contain C-sharp code. They actually are both partial classes and they are combined at compile time. The difference between the two files is that the ASPX.CS file is the file that the developer adds code to and the ASPX.Designer.CS file is the file that the system adds code to. In this lesson, you create your first ASP.NET Web Forms web application. There are no requirements and the hints for this lesson is to use the F5 button to start the application in debug mode. To get started, select New Project, Visual C Sharp, ASP.NET Web Application Template, and enter Lesson 7A for the name of the application, and click the OK button. By examining the Solution Explorer, you can see all the folders and the files that were created as part of the sample ASP.NET Web Form application. You can see that the About Web Form is comprised of three files and the default web page, which is the home page, is also comprised of three files. This is the partial class used by the default.aspxcs page and this is the partial class used by the default.aspx.designer.cs page and they are combined at compile time. Click the F5 button. This is the home page for the sample application. This is the About Us page for the sample application. And this is back to the home page by using the tabs. You can click the Login link to go to the Login page. And now if I attempt to log in without entering any data, you can see that there is validation that is provided. To create an account, you go to the Registration page.